Previously on Drake Paragon. That's the second person that's really recognized us. You just don't like my frittatas? I'm gonna make pineapple orange ginger turkey tonight. She and her husband actually got married on Paragon. All of Prince Christian Sound is unnavigatable right now because of ice. I have a good feeling about this. He's probably gonna have all kinds of really good information for us. It's Canada Day, and Paragon's right here on this public dock, right off of this park, where a band is playing and a group of people have gathered. Ninety-seven years ago today, 800 men from Newfoundland rushed from their trenches near Beaumont Hamel in France. On succeeding days, one million men from many nations faced each other in combat. And the number who were lost is beyond our counting. O oh God, we remember before you those from this island and Labrador who never returned from Beaumont Hamel from Manchi, from Manière, from Yip. We remember the Newfoundlanders who died at sea. With them, we remember those who gave their lives in other conflicts, in Italy and France, in Belgium and Holland, in Korea and Afghanistan, in the North Atlantic and in the skies of Europe. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for our quarrels and teach us the ways of peace that all may live and enjoy this good earth. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Korean War Veterans, Mr. Doug England, War Veteran, Wreath Bearer, Mr. Charles Williams, War Veteran. Peacekeepers Veterans Association, Roxanne Hurley, CD, First Vice President, Lee Ferrer, Chief Warrant Officer, Terry Hurley, CD. Fund, RCMP Chief Bruce Superintendent, retired George Powell.
2nd Canadian Army Veterans Motorcycle Unit, Beaumont Hamill. Veteran Tom Skelding, MMCD, Reaper, Debbie Lake. Succession by units! Quick! March! First Battalion! Channel. <laughs> Go to land. I got gets hit by a bus. Canada. I was right there when they started. So. Oh, oh excellent! God. I got them all from the bus. I, I, I was going by all the bikes like this. Really? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's the most interesting hangover day yet, huh? Welcome to your hangover. Look at this! It's like <laughs> the dance here. <laughs> oh, let's have some loud music. How about a brass band? How about an entire motorcade of motorbikes? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get coffee and I came back and this is all here and everybody it was really quiet. So like there was a cop up there, there was like a car parked like in the middle of the road. Yeah. I thought something was going on, something bad. But then I saw people walking up and I was like, okay. So I walked up and then everyone's just standing in the street like saying nothing and I'm like because they're having like a, a two minute silence thing. <laughs> so I walked up and I'm like everyone's there going like this and I'm like <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what How much like, did I drink last night? Those apocalyptic <laughs> movies where everyone's like a zombie and suddenly yeah. they all turn uh, towards you. Oh, it was really weird. The band started to play. The guy started talking and go, thank you for your two minute silence. And, and now we will have a reading. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I, I was only, when he started talking, then I realized there was something going on up there. <laughs> and then there was like this whole big thing, like, but when the elder Don't people- Don't get hit by the ambulance. <laughs> Although they can immediately help you that if you is. did. <laughs> oh god, I feel like crap. Oh, so <laughs> now oh, what? You were so funny when you yeah, came with last night. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I knew oh, with your camera. Protection, blah, blah, blah. Drinks, blah, blah, blah. And we were like, would you like a drink? You're like, no, drink, no, no. Like, would you like some water? Water, water. <laughs> <laughs> and we like propped it up. And then you had this little grin on your face that you're like, <laughs> I'm glad that we got up and got going when we did, and not much later. Like, There's a fan! <laughs> he's like, it's Canada Day! Get out of bed! Yeah. And then he's like, awesome. aren't you a good Canadian? Don't you love Canada? There's a band like right up there, they're playing, but they're not gonna play forever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, do you love sleep more than you love being Canadian? He's like, there's a dog. There's a cute dog out there. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. The people in the French boat next door are coming over tonight. Yay! Really? Yeah, yeah. They, I invited them over for a party. Oh, oh yeah. brilliant. So, yeah. so I need to go to the store then? I think more like hors d'oeuvres. Right, so I need to go to the store. Yeah, I guess so. And some wine maybe. Oh, jeez. So they're coming over because they sailed to Nook before. Did they? Yeah, they sailed from France to Iceland to Greenland. I think they're very familiar with Cape Farewell Perfect. and Prince Christian Sound and strongly advising that we go to ports other than Nook. Really? Yeah. Better place to settle down. He There's said about some like lower that is actually like it's the second largest city I think in Greenland said, what I was reading. He said about 300 miles south of Nook there is a great city. 
That's what I was reading about. So yeah. it's, it's sort of like a He's G like, don't go to Nook, go, go to this place. And uh, it'd be a better first port. With our time constraints, that might work. It. Yeah, actually, maybe we won't even go to Nook at all. So anyway, they're coming over. He's very nice. There must be more Canada stuff going on today, don't you think? I think so. I'm sure that wasn't like it. I think, oh, they're firing cannons! Look, you can see the smoke! Camera on. You will remember to take the cannonballs out, right? <laughs> So what would you like to do for the rest of the day? Recover from his camp. Yeah, have some more water, maybe have some food. Yeah. I think I'll just recover. Yeah. Uh, you should have some fish and chips. Fish and chips are good for a hangover. I have a good feeling about this. He's probably going to have all kinds of really good information for us. I was asking him about the marina or the dockage situation in Nook. Nook. And he was like, yeah, there's a marina, but it's not really a marina. And, and then he thought about it. He was like, no, you actually can't even go there. You can come, dock, get water, and then you got to go. You're tying up to whatever boat is tied up to yeah. the land. So everybody's like rafting up on everybody else. Not where we want to stay for very long. So I want to ask him, well, what's the, the best place to the go? The best place to go after our arrival in Nook. I was reading the other day about that. If you go south, there's like, it's like the second largest city. It currently has like fuel, it has water. That's what he said. All sorts of stuff. He said it's about 300 miles south of Nook. He said it's a great place it's very conducive to staying. He was like, why don't you go to this place first and then think about going to Nook after if you want to. And he said, watch out for Prince Christian Sound too because a lot of the time it's iced over. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't go through it. I'm more concerned about the plan of the Norwegian boat that left here. Because they said they were going to pull into the west coast of Greenland. And then if Prince Christian Sound's iced over, well, they're on a schedule, so they'll go around the southern tip. If you and, go far uh, enough down, though, I mean... Yeah, 120 miles. Well, yeah. Yeah, so go southwest for 24 hours. Yeah. I know his boat's, like, fairly new, but it doesn't have a skeg-hung rudder. It's just got yeah, the Yeah, he was saying right the rudder. They caught a couple of lobster pots when they were in America, when yeah. they were down near Gloucester, I think. They mentioned that it was a big problem because if they go up to the ice and something like gets caught in under the rudder, yeah. they're not going to be able to go into the water to fix it. Too so cold, they, yeah. they'd have to pay for a diver in Greenland to fix and it. That's not always available depending yeah. on where you are. Exactly. My concern with that rudder is that it's going to get ripped off or something will fail inside and it will just fall out. Yeah. Let's prepare some cheese and crackers. Maybe get a nice bottle of wine. Can we do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, go to, I'll walk up to the store. Often there are some little pieces of ice in fjord. Then the part just on the water, on the surface of the water, mm -hmm. the ice is yeah. like, like an, a, ice. an ice. Like you have to go in very slowly to never touch. The big iceberg, you see. Ah. The water doesn't have the same color, and you see oh. under yeah, the water the big uh, and mass. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you can approach uh, yeah. 20 meters. Uh, yeah. The very big. Because what do you think of this? This is the weather facts of icebergs around Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. And yes. this is the number of icebergs. Yes, yes I know. Yes. I, I know the, the, the same. Yes, yes. Yes. So we were thinking of sailing from here yes. to there. No. 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 You don't think it's necessary? No. 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 You go for that? Yes. But what about at night? Does radar pick up everything that we might hit? 
We were thinking maybe of sailing during the day and then as nightfall maybe hold to. If it is too dark with fog, we can stop during the night. Yeah. yeah. So you think we should go straight? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go straight? If it was you? Yeah. <laughs> we were wondering about this because we haven't talked with anyone who's sailed through yes. this yes. before. It's, it's good to sail in Heidelberg at the beginning during the day to learn what yeah. is an iceberg. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Huh? When you have seen a lot of iceberg, you understand how you can manage it. Mm -hmm. right. We've never even seen an iceberg ever in mm. my yeah, life. Yeah, not in person. Yeah. Did you usually anchor when you were in Greenland? With yes, yes, every night. Yeah, a lot of place to anchor. Mm -hmm. And some uh, little, uh, little uh, village, uh, yeah. you can tie uh, at the la, pier, la, 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 and uh, Arsuk, Narsak, and uh, uh, Palmyot. I didn't even know about the inside passages. I assumed that we would go Maybe. offshore. If we go down the inside passage, yes. Can we anchor every night? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. sure. We do, sure. We do sure. that. We do sure. that. We do that. Yes. Every night. So you found your anchorages from the chart more than from the book? Yes. Yes. Oh. In the inner passage, yes. Mm. Mm. At Narsak, there is an Inuit village, very friendly, mm. and there is a lot of trade. And uh, in this part, you may stay yes. a little but, uh, bit. We sail one year through the North Atlantic, yeah. from France uh, to Canary, mm -hmm. Cabaret Island, Caribbean, and the US. Yeah. New York. Uh, New York. New York. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> two and a half weeks yes. New York. It was With so a sailing fun. boat, it, it was uh, fabulous. And then we left the boat at the Magdalen Island during winter, the summer uh, Greenland, and back to France. So, uh, complete circumnavigation yes. of the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. wow. North Atlantic. Next year we go to South. So glad we met you. Oh my you. God! Yes. Thank you so you much. Did you discover by yourself? It was a pleasure. Yes. Most definitely. Oh, Perhaps one day we'll see you in another oh, harbor. Oh, well, <laughs> if you sail to France, there is a lot of beautiful places. Yeah. Yeah. Really. We need to remember. I don't. I don't ever remember. This is a great place to keep everything. So. This kind of changes changes things. Maybe we shouldn't plan on going all the way to Nook if it doesn't really offer us anything to see more than what we can see in uh, the other place. They seem to be very complimentary of the smaller towns mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and down, and we'll just it seems like there's more to explore on land mm -hmm. and it's easier. Mm -hmm. Like they, they seem to seem like to indicate that Nook was. Yeah, no, they, didn't they didn't seem to like it at like all. Nook. And his immediate reaction to looking at the ice chart, it's like, like Newfoundland waters. And like when I said we're fine, and going all the no. way around it, he was like, "No way." It was so cute. You're like, "Do you think I should do this?" He's like, oh, "I don't know." I know. He's like, I'm, I'm not, not going to tell you what to do. Right, right. Of course, but, it's uh, like I can't tell you what to do. But he, can't take responsibility for our actions and our safety. I thought he was just like with him when his reaction was, yeah, don't do this, don't go around this. And then he was just like, well, here, I'm not, you know. But I'm not telling you what you do. <laughs> so how many icebergs is our comfort zone to I mean, start with? Four? That's like at four, it's just going to come up like that. Um, so do you guys want to sail through a degree sector that contains as many as four icebergs on the iceberg chart. I like how he said also it's good to start getting around them in the day, especially if the weather's a little so nicer. So you can learn so, what they are. Yeah, learn yeah. what they are and learn how. And I read about going around to windward because the, yeah, the growlers, keep it to windward. Um, both with the, the tide and the wind. They, or, or stay on its windward side. Yeah. 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 No, I, yeah I didn't know that. So growlers break off from icebergs and they travel downwind. Downwind and down current. But as a general rule, stay on yeah. its windward yeah. side. Uh, and that was interesting too, where he's like, well, not all icebergs have all the little things around them. But when he was talking about the knife, yeah. he's like, it's like a knife <laughs> like right under the water that you can't see. I'm like, 
Is your boat glass? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were really nice. I think we're gonna go to, uh, what was it? What was the name of that place? Pamut? Pam, Pamut. 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 Yeah. He's sailing back to Ireland. No way. Holy oh, shit. No way. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's so cool. How has it been? He's taking a video. This is Drake. This is the competition. Hey guys. Oh, Happy yeah. Canada Day. Drake. Hey. Did you come on the bus? All the way? Feels like Yeah, you definitely get on the bears out at night. Yes. Woo! You're in Canada.